Okay, guys, uh, welcome back to the meal. Dogs are running around having fun. Uh, we appreciate you tuning in today. Well, we got something a little different for this part of the eastern United States. We don't see many of them. It's what's called a cottonwood tree. Uh, they particularly like to grow around the banks of creeks and rivers. Uh, they can live to be over 100 years old. They grow fast. They can grow up to six plus feet a year. Uh, the bark is not very distinctive. It's a little slick. It's easy to tell when it got leaves on them. But one telltale sign, if Matthew will show you, is all cottonwoods have a hole in the heart. For some reason, that's just the way they grow. There'll be a hole. And that ought to be your first indicator to start checking that you got a cottonwood. The wood itself is very soft. Uh, I would rate it softer than white pine as far as sawing. Uh, it's very lightweight, it's similar weight to white pine. <clears throat> a lot of people years ago used them because the trees were so big and they could cut big wide boards and they wouldn't warp and cut. My dad's got some on a barn up here that are 30 plus inches wide and they're a hundred year old and they're still flat as the day they cut them. So that's what we got. We're gonna put them on the mill. The customer wants some live edge on both sides. So we'll just take a little cut off the top, cut halfway through, roll it over, take another cut, cut all the way to the bottom. There'll be very little to no waste. So let's get to work and uh, we'll see you in the mill. Production is being hindered by the the shop dogs. <laughs> Both of them want to ride on the tractor with uh, yeah. Matthew. I can't quite get to the gas. <laughs> These boys are hindering our production this morning. Oh, <coughs> now it's fight time. <laughs> oh, the life of a dog. Eat, play, run, bark, chase. Okay, let's get back to work, guys. We got this Paloma set on here, or cottonwood. It's got a little banana bow in it, so we're gonna have to waste just a little bit getting that out of it, but once that's gone, it'll be great. So, get everything set up, we'll be right back.
guys saw us cut the banana out of the top of the log, now that we've rolled it over to the other side, we have the two pieces that are sticking up like horns. We're going to take a bunch of one inch cuts out of those and we're going to run those through the kiln separately and have them as little like whatnot project pieces. Welcome back guys, uh, it's actually the next day, uh, I've heard every YouTuber I've ever watched complain about uh, sometimes the GoPro just eats your footage. Well, we come back yesterday, finished up all this cottonwood and uh, had some good video. I was really interested in see you guys seeing it and somehow it just disappeared. So we're going to film a new outro. Uh, you see this saw the big log? And then we took a break, come back, and we saw the smaller one. And we cut it in one inch live edge. It averaged somewhere around 16, 18 inch wide boards. It turned out gorgeous. But uh, sorry about losing the footage, but uh, since we did, I'm gonna give you a little bonus footage. Let's go over here to the little building. I'll be right back. I was gonna do a video on it this morning and uh, Matthew had both my cameras, so I had to do the work anyway. We run, 
we keep four chainsaws in the sawmill building. I got several more over here, I'll show you, but we normally keep the Husky 550, our little electric Milwaukee, which we love. Uh, my 372 Husky, best all around saw. If you can't own but one, I recommend the 372 Husker body. You'll never regret it. Uh, <clears throat> got down the other week, every saw we had was uh, dull. Uh, we cut a lot of hickory earlier in the week and you guys that saw hickory know how hard that is on chains, uh, bandsaw blades, chainsaws, whatever you cut it with. But come Friday, we was down to the only thing we had sharp enough to cut with was the 550 Husky. So, and it'd been a couple weeks since I really maintained them. I brought them all over this morning, took them apart, blowed them out. Uh, the small Husky in the Milwaukee, I hand sharpened with a file. The 372, it was cutting crooked. The chain's about wore out. I'm trying to get one, maybe two sharpeners out of it. I'm gonna throw it away. But I put it on my electric sharpener to try to square it back up to where it would cut good enough to to get the last little bit of wear out of the chain. So let's walk inside the building here. This is the building we use to uh, sharpen our blades. Of course, you know, we got our, our uh, BMS 250 and our BMS 150. Uh, chainsaws I keep in reserve. I got a three, 394 Husky. It's a good running saw. I got an old boat anchor up there, that McCullough. I grew up using that saw, okay? <laughs> We've come a long ways. And I got a 290 steel. I uh, got that on trade years ago. And over in the corner, I got a 3120 Husqvarna that we, uh, I keep a four foot bar on it for big stuff, but if you can see in the corner right here, that's a uh, five foot bar or, well, it'll cut, it'll clear 60 inches. So that's bigger than five foot. We use that for the Alaskan mill. The last one I got on the table here is a, a steel 066. Uh, this one had some work done on it. It's had the jug ported, polished uh, timing advanced on it is acting up a little bit this week uh i believe it needs a spark plug so while i got it apart uh cleaning the chain cleaning the saw i'll go ahead and put a plug in there see if that fixes it hopefully it will it's it's an old saw but you guys know anything about saws these are expensive uh a good running 066 will cost you eight hundred thousand dollars you know because you don't want a brand new one runs now they're they're expensive same thing with that 372 uh my dad just bought one brand new it's like 1250 with a bar and chain a uh, 20 inch bar and chain and uh so they're worth they're worth maintaining they're worth keeping together uh all you these tools we use to make money and it's well worth the time and effort to maintain them to get as long a life out of them as you can that's true with any any tools you're using you know do your best to maintain it grease it clean it you know whatever it takes but uh, that's going to do it for today, guys. Uh, sorry we lost that footage on the cottonwood. It's beautiful wood. You ever get a chance to saw some? Uh, saw it. Let me know what you think about it. it it's different. It's, it's like sawing a cedar, but even even easier. You know, we cut. Uh, I slid the log over just a little bit to where I could maximize cut, and we got a few boards that's 25, 26 inches wide, just as flat as a piece of plywood. So uh, that's going to do it for today. Guys, I greatly appreciate you watching our channel. I, we can't tell you enough how much we're, we're thankful for you. If you got any questions, comments, leave them in the description below. And Matthew wanted me to remind you that we post videos on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 5 p.m. in the afternoon. Guys, have a wonderful day, and we'll see you back at the pill. Thank you for watching. Here's a video selection and a playlist suggestion. Click here to subscribe for more great content. We'll see you at the mill.